Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these stickers, line them up on your piece of paper, ready for printing on sticker paper. Now, you don't have to do this design. You can obviously use your own design. You can import it from any type of program like Photoshop or Procreate, and you just have to import it as an image. So let's open a new document. And at the moment, I've got my document set to default A4. But if you want to change the size of your page, then just go up to Layout, go to Size, click on the drop down, and then you've got a variety of different sizes to choose from. So the first thing I'm going to do to create this sticker is just simply import a shape. So I'm going to go up to Insert, Shape, and then I'm just going to click on the circle here. Now to ensure I create a perfect circle, I'm going to hold down my shift key because then it will create the perfect circle. If I don't, this is what happens, you'll create an oval. So hit the shift key and you'll create that perfect circle. Now to change the color of this circle and the border, you can't quite see it, but all shapes have a border around them. You don't have to have it, but I'll show you how to customize it. So the easy way is to select the shape, make sure you're on the shape format ribbon, go down to shape fill, click on the drop down, and then you can select from a number of colors here. If it hasn't got the color of your choice, just click on more fill colors, and then you've got your color wheel to choose any color you wish. To then change the border, you can go up to shape outline, click on the drop down, and then once again, you can select from these colors or for more colors, or you can select no outline, which I am going to select. Click no outline, and then that borderline will be taken away. Now, if you want something a little more exciting than just a plain color, then we're going to go to a customization menu. Again, make sure you've selected your shape and then go all the way over to this format pane icon here. Click on it and then this menu will appear. Now, as long as you're on this bucket icon, you should have these two options here, fill and line. So fill, click on the drop down, is the solid color, the blue color we've currently got. The line is the border line we've just taken away, but you can select from these options if you wish. So for this one, I'm going to select a gradient fill, so click on gradient fill. And because I've already rehearsed this, you can see that my gradients have already come up. So the first thing to do is to is click on type, click on the drop down, and then you can see you can have a linear gradient, a radial, rectangular or path. Now, if you're not sure what those are, just click on it and then go to direction. Click on the menu. Let's just move this in so you can see it. And then you can see the different gradients and the directions. If I go to radial and then go down to presets, you can see they're different. So just play around with them. I've selected the one in the center, as you can see here. And then you need to go down and select your colors. Now this is your main slider bar. On the left here, when you select radial, the left one I've selected, you can just see the orange outline, which means I've selected it, is the center color. And then it works out to the edge of your circle or whichever shape you've chosen. So in order to change the colors of these, just click on it, select it, go to color, click on the drop down, let's just move this in again. Click on the bucket icon and once again, you've got your colors and again, you've got more colors here and you can select from your color wheel. So I've just selected from the main menu. So I've selected this color here for the middle, then this color here, Again, down to colors. I've selected this color here. And then this color, the blue, I've gone down to select this color at the bottom. And then you can move these sliders. And as I move them, if you just watch the shape, you can see how that will adjust your gradient. So it's really, really versatile. And you can really play around with this and get some really interesting results. So I'm going to leave them about here. So once you're happy with that, we're just going to insert our picture in the middle. And for that, I'm going to go up to Insert, 
picture and then I'm going to go to stock images. I can also go to icons which is this little bird and leaf here. If I go to stock images once again we can go over to this area here. Now it will currently come up with images and photographs but if you click on this drop down here you have a number of different options. Cut out people stickers and illustrations. Now you can go on to stickers but what I have found with these stickers is when you import them they're quite pixelated but of course you can go ahead and use them if you wish. You can also use illustrations so again there's an awful lot for you to choose from if you choose one of these but I'm just going to use the icons and I'm going to use I'm going to use the octopus and I'm just going to select this one here and click insert. Now when I've inserted it you can see it's disappeared behind my circle so in order to bring it forward make sure it's selected make sure you're on graphics format go to wrap text and select in front of text then once again I'm going to make it bigger but also holding down the shift key to ensure that it keeps its ratio so I'll just make that tiny bit bigger now to ensure this is perfectly centered if I select the octopus shape hold down my command or control key on my keyboard select the circle you can see they're both selected now go along to align select align to center which will align them vertically and then align to middle which will align them horizontally and then if you click away you can see now your design is perfectly lined up in the center now if you wanted to change the color of this icon you can do so you can either use the quick way just select it go up to graphics fill click on the drop down and then you can just select a color of your choice but for this particular demonstration I'm just going to select black and then what I'm also going to do is group the octopus with the circle so once again select the octopus hold the command or control key down and select the circle then I'm going to go along to group and select group what that does it ties these two together so you can now move it round as one now if you make a mistake don't worry you can simply undo it by selecting it going back up to group and selecting ungroup and then you can change the icon if you need to once I'm happy with that I can now resize my sticker I'm going to hit my shift key again and I'm going to resize the sticker to the size of my choice so I think about here would be fine now in order to copy and paste this I can do it one of three ways I can either go to the home press the copy icon click away from my sticker make sure you do that's quite important then go up and click paste move that along or I can either hit command or control C command or control V or I can select my sticker hit my optional alt key and then click and drag so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to line these three up and group them together so I've roughly lined them up I'm going to select them all by holding down my command or control key going up to graphics format going to the align tool and first of all I want them distributed evenly horizontally so click distribute evenly so they're now evenly spaced now go back up and align them to the middle so they're all lined up along the middle now before I click away I want to group them together so go up hit the group icon and select group now you can move them around as one now I'm going to copy and paste them by holding down my alt or option key clicking and dragging and now both of these are selected so whilst they're selected hold down my alt or option key and click and drag again and I think we might be able to get an additional row in there so click off click back onto one row hold down your alt or option key click and drag now let's just nudge these up to see if we can get them on if we can't we'll just delete it so you do want a little bit of space to be able to cut between the stickers I think we might just be able to get them on 
So once you've got them all on, we're now going to align them all correctly. So again, hold the, option, the command or control key down, select all the rows of stickers, go back up to align, make sure you're on graphics format, go to align, and then we want to distribute them equally, vertically. So now the gaps between them all are exactly the same. Once again, we need to align them to the middle. No, nope. go back, command or control Z, align to the center. So now they're all perfectly lined up. And then before we click away, we're going to group them once again, select group and then group. And now you can move them around as one item. To ensure they're perfectly aligned in the middle of your page, select it, go to graphics format, go to position, click on the drop down and select the center one. And that will put these stickers perfectly in the center of your page. So now once you're happy, you can go ahead and print that out onto your sticker paper and then just simply cut them out. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.